Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. The last time that I shipped was Tuesday and today is Friday. So this is going to show my sales from Tuesday afternoon until now. It is Friday at 3.45. So let's go ahead and get into it. I think we have around 20-ish items. Our first sale is this pair of Eileen Fisher sandals. They are a suede nubuck leather sandal. These are called the like sporty sneaker sandals because even though they're a leather upper, they do have this like rubber sporty sole. So that was kind of interesting. I would say these sold maybe within like two weeks of being listed. So for shoes, I usually grab my 1095 box just because they fit really nicely and they don't really move around in this box. Add my thank you sticker. So I listed these at 40. They probably retail for around 200. But Eileen Fisher does not have the best uh, resale value. And these also had a little bit of wear. So I listed at 40. Someone liked them. And so my Posture VA sent them out a $36 offer with discounted shipping. That was accepted, making my earnings $25.82. I paid $2.25 for these at my local family thrift center outlet, and so my net profit was $23.57. Okay, next up, we have a silk blouse from Banana Republic. I definitely do not always pick up Banana Republic, but as I just mentioned, this is 100% silk. It was a size large. It's flawless. It's in this really pretty plum color that's flattering for a lot of people, and... Uh, it also had some fun details like a scalloped trim. So it had quite a bit going for it. For all of those reasons, I did go ahead and grab it. I listed at 30. And I would say maybe like a month later, I received a $25 offer. I did accept that. And so my earnings were 20 and my net profit came out to $17.75 on this blouse. So I'm happy with that for sure. Nice little bread and butter sale. I definitely do not overlook small brand pieces if they have a lot going for them. They will for sure sell. Okay, next we have a little t-shirt. This is from the brand Soul Angeles, which is sometimes sold at Anthropology. It's just a cream t-shirt that has a little pocket and on the pocket it says all good. So I thought that was cute. I just kind of tossed this in my bin or I just kind of tossed this in my bag at the bins. It has a dry cleaning tag on it. Let me clip that off. But yeah, it was so lightweight, I really didn't think too much about it. Um, a lot of people do know this brand and like it for graphic t-shirts. It had no spots, no stains at all, and it was in a size large. So, again, had quite a bit going for it. It was also incredibly lightweight, so I probably paid a dollar at most for it. I listed at 28 uh, and I would say maybe like two, possibly three weeks after being listed, I received an offer of 15, which I did counter to 22 and that was countered back to 20, which I went ahead and took. And so my net profit ended up being around $15 on this shirt, which again, I am pleased with. Everything adds up. And I mean, this shirt probably retailed for, I would guess like 35 to 50. So I would say that's a win-win. Okay, moving on. Oh, you know what? 
I have a, I need to grab a piece out of my bag over here. I had this shacket at my apartment because I was washing it. It did have a little spot on the um, front pocket and so I washed it. It mostly came out but it's still kind of there. I'm not sure if you can see it's on this pocket kind of in the bottom portion. I just went ahead and listed it. I took a picture of the spot in natural lighting so that potential buyers could see just how obvious it was and it still sold same day of being listed. Shackets are no joke. They're still very popular, especially, you know, in the fall and early springtime, I would say, which we're kind of moving out of, but I'm still definitely going to be picking shackets up because they're just so trendy still. They were incredibly hot last year and that still definitely rings true this year. So I listed this at 25. If it did not have that spot on the pocket, I probably would have listed closer to 35-ish. Again, just because jackets are so in demand. And within like an hour of being listed, I received a $21 offer. So only $4 off of asking, which I did accept. And my net profit still came out to around $15 on this. So that just goes to show you list your flawed items, especially if they're trendy. We're going to take a quick pause and talk about the sponsor of today's video, and that is Earth Breeze. So I have been using Earth Breeze as a laundry detergent for a while now, and I really and truly have been loving it. With having to wash a significant portion of my thrifted finds before listing them for sale, I really was in need of a detergent that would get everything clean and smelling good, but still be very easy to order, use, and store. And Earth Breeze meets all of those needs and more. Earth Breeze has done away with basically all of the negative aspects to old-fashioned laundry detergent. There's no heavy, wasteful plastic jugs that I have to lug home from the store and then up the stairs and then try to find room for in my already limited storage space. You guys know that I make a true effort in my own business to be eco-friendly, so I love that Earth Breeze helps me carry that trend into my personal life as well. The fact that 700 million detergent jugs enter landfills and oceans every year from the USA alone makes me so happy to have found an eco-friendly laundry detergent option so that I can do my part. The packaging is compact, biodegradable, and totally plastic free. The powerful eco sheets resemble a dryer sheet, but they're not. It's a revolutionary liquidless laundry detergent that dissolves 100% in hot or cold water and in any type of cycle or machine, including high efficiency. It's incredibly easy to use. There's no measuring or messy spill detergent or heavy lifting. You just toss them in and let them go to work. The eco sheets are hypoallergenic and dermatologist tested, so they are safe for sensitive skin, there is even a fragrance-free option. So not only is Earth Breeze eco-friendly, easy to store, and a no-brainer to use, the logistics to order are hassle-free as well. Their flexible subscriptions can be self-managed so you can adjust, pause, or cancel at any time with no penalty, hidden fees, or extras. It's delivered right to your door for free via carbon neutral shipping, and there's a 100% satisfaction guarantee or your money back. No questions asked and no return necessary. Earth Breeze is tough on stains and removes odor so that you can get a powerful clean every time. There's no reason not to switch. I really have been very happy with this product and how it gets my items clean, smelling fresh, and ready to list. The biodegradable compact packaging is also a huge plus and I'm so excited for you guys to try it out. Go to earthbreeze.com slash mcthrifty to get 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash mcthrifty for 40% off your subscription. Okay, next we have a two-piece bundle. These are both Madewell items. The first is this uh, 
flannel plaid. I was about to say plannel. Uh, button down shirt. This also kind of gives jacket vibes. It's a little bit heavier weight, but I would still consider it a shirt. Uh, and then second is this button down boxy kind of oversized shirt also from Madewell. These are both size large, both very recently listed. They sold within just a couple days. Uh, I have found that I'm pretty picky with Madewell now with what I buy. Not so much at the bins. I'll, I'll pick up a lot of Madewell at the bins. But if I'm paying, you know, even 2 or $3, I do find myself uh, requiring the piece to have a lot of sellable factors for me to pick it up. And these Mabel shirts are pretty sought after, I would say. I'm actually wearing one myself right now. This is called the, oh, what is this shirt called? It is escaping me. Oh, the central shirt, yeah. So the central shirt, this exact cut from Madewell is very popular. This white shirt, white button down shirt also has a specific name. Uh, it might be like the courier shirt, something like that. But yeah, basically what I'm saying is essential button down shirts from Madewell do sell very well in particular, especially if they are the central shirt. A lot of people just like the cut to it, me included. It's just really like flattering and kind of like effortlessly chic. It's like a little bit oversized and yeah, it's just works well for a lot of people. So anyways, when the two of these were added together, the bundle price came out to $78 and I was offered 60 which I did go ahead and accept. That made my earnings $48. I paid $4.50 for both, and so my net profit came out to $43.50 on that bundle. Okay, next we have a skirt from Zara. I also very recently listed this. It is a midi length skirt with cascading ruffles, size large, uh, midi and maxi length skirts and dresses from Zara, particularly their newer tag. Again, is a category, are categories from the brand that just sell especially well. The longer you resell, the more you kind of figure out these patterns within brands. I really need to do a video of what I think are the best selling categories within each brand. I think that would be really interesting. I'm just so, I'm all, I always feel so stretched, stretched on time just keeping up with my daily activities. But I do want to film some more kind of diverse content for you guys soon. Okay, next we have Tommy Bahama. I picked this up because it was 100% linen. It had a really pretty crochet detail at the chest. It's long line and it's also really versatile. You could layer this with a tank and like some white pants for a really beachy boho look. Or you could just throw it on over a swimsuit and head down to the pool, which I am so excited to do soon. I have a really fun pool at my apartment complex. I've made friends with all my neighbors. I have like 25 friends at my apartment complex. So we just all go down and hang out by the pool. And I am very much so looking forward to that. So I listed this Tommy Bahama tunic at $35. That was just kind of a shot in the dark. I never sell this brand, but it did have so much going for it, and I do know that Tommy Bahama retails for quite a bit. So yeah, listed at 35. Within a couple days, I got an offer for 30, which I accepted. My earnings were 24, and my net profit was right around $22. An excellent find and sale here. This is the Dre jacket, D-R-E-E -E jacket from the brand CP Shades. It's 100% linen. 
I have sold this twice in the past, each time for around that $50 to $65 mark, I believe. I listed this one at $75. And within, again, just a couple days, I got an offer of 63, which I accepted. That made my earnings $50.40. I also found this at my Family Fair Center outlet. And so I paid $2.25 for it. And my net profit came out to $48.15 on this jacket, which I am thrilled about. That is an incredible return on my investment. And I hope the buyer loves it. It's a gorgeous piece. It did retail for a couple hundred dollars and it's in basically new condition. So I think that's a win-win for sure. Um, this label got out of order here. Okay. Alrighty, so next up we have a little sports bra from Lululemon. This is called the Boot Camp Ready Sports Bra. And I was excited about this when I found it at the bins because not only was it a newer piece from Lululemon, I knew that off the bat because I found the size dot and the style number circled the size on the size dot, which automatically means that it is newer than if the size dot just had the size on it. Did that make sense? I feel like that was a lot of words for what I was trying to say. But anyway, so yeah, happy that it was newer and then also it still had the padding, which is kind of rare. A lot of people, before they donate their Lululemon bras or tank tops, they will take the padding out so that they can use it in other bras and tanks that they have, but it was still there, so that was really exciting. Oh, did I say how much that I did not say? I listed that bra for $32. I think it retailed for like around 50 or 60-ish. It looked brand new. So I listed at 32. Within a couple days, I got an offer for 27, which was awesome. I feel like the resale value of Lululemon tanks and sports bras has been going down, but that was a little bit newer. It was a good color. Um, and so my net profit ended up being around $20 on that, which I was very happy with. Okay, moving on, we have a button down shirt. This is just from Charter Club, but I did wanna get it when I saw it at the Goodwill outlet for several reasons. First off, it is a size large. It's 100% linen. It's in flawless condition and it has um, roll tab sleeves, which a lot of people like because, um, you know, you can roll your sleeves up and you get a little bit toasty. It also is a fun hot pink color, which is great for springtime. I listed this at 30 and I would say within within like three or four days I got an offer of 24 which I did accept that made my earnings $19.20 and my net profit $18.20 okay next we have a robe by the brand Barefoot Dreams. I just showed this in a haul. It sold within a day of being listed. It is the um, cozy chic line of stuff, line of, Barefoot Dreams has different lines. Uh, they have like a bamboo chic line, a cozy chic line, and they're all, it's kind of like differing weights to the fabrics and textures. I would say their cozy chic line probably is the most popular. It's just very cozy and soft and comfortable. So this robe I listed at 45 and received an offer of 40, which I accepted. My earnings were 32 and my net profit was right around $30 on this robe. 
Barefoot Dreams, an excellent brand to find and pick up. It will inevitably sell. I have never listed a Barefoot Dreams piece that has sat in my closet for longer than probably like a couple weeks. Okay, so now we have a really exciting sale. This is that large, almost queen sized uh, granny crochet square blanket. I lined the bottom of this box with plastic and I'm going to, and then I put the blanket in and now I'm going to add another piece of plastic on top and then seal it up. I had to reuse an Amazon box because I didn't have any USPS boxes that were large enough, which that's totally fine. You can use any box that you have around lying around your home to ship Poshmark orders. You just do obviously want to make sure that you seal it up really well. And you also want to make sure that you cover up any old labels with your new label. You don't want um, anything getting scanned that shouldn't be scanned. And anytime that I use non-USPS boxes like this, like just brown boxes, I usually put these priority mail sticker sheets on the box just to give off the vibe that this is a priority mail piece. This is not a huge, like, important step, but I think it's just a good idea to let it be known that, you know, this is priority mail. And uh, so I listed this. You can also order these free from the USPS online and have them shipped straight to your door. Okay, actually, you know what? I just remembered that that... Uh, blanket weighs seven pounds and so I do need to upgrade the shipping label which I'm going to screen record my phone while I do that so I'm on the sale now and I'm going to select need new shipping label need heavier weight label then you just please select weight it weighs seven pounds select that next email printable label and that's it. It emails it to you and you can go ahead and print it out now. So very easy to do. Okay, I actually had to take a break and run down to the post office but I'm back now to finish up. I actually had another sale while I was doing that so that was nice. Next up we have this CP Shades midi length dress. This is the same brand of that linen jacket I just showed. Um, an excellent bolo brand. It retails for a ton. This dress was probably 150 to 180 ish retail. Sometimes the brand CP Shades collaborates with other brands like Free People and that stuff can also sell very well. So I listed this dress at $45 and I would say within just a couple days I was offered $25 which I did counter to $32 and they countered back to $30 which I did accept. If this had been a more, uh, if it had more details to it, I probably would have stuck kind of firm at 35-ish. But I was okay with 30. My net profit ended up being around $22 on the dress. Next we have Matilda Jane. Really pretty ruffle midi length dress with a contrasting turquoise hem and kind of like a almost like a handkerchief hemline. Matilda Jane it's like kind of like a boutique brand. It doesn't sell for a lot but it usually does bring quite a bit of traffic to my closet I would say and it does consistently sell so I do still pick it up. They have a lot of cute pieces. The brand makes mommy and me clothing so you know sometimes 
uh, women will buy, you know, a Matilda Jane piece for themselves in the store and then turn to Poshmark to find the daughter version or vice versa. And so I think that's one way that uh, people, or one reason people are looking for a Matilda Jane on the secondhand market. Also just because it's cute. This is an adorable little summer dress. I listed it at 35. I'd say a month after being listed, I received a $19 offer, which I did counter to 28. Just because this is pretty substantial, I would say, it has a lot going on. That was countered back to 20, and then I countered back to 24, and that was accepted. So my earnings were $19.20. I paid $2.25, and so my net profit was right at $17. Okay, we have a three item bundle here. Our first piece is this Free People little short alls, denim short alls with canvas straps. I just listed these like a couple days ago. And second piece is new tags uh, from Anthropology Pilcro. This is adorable. It's a slub cotton long sleeve shirt with ruffles at the shoulders and then a little cutout in back. It retailed for $60 and it's a size small. So really cute little top here. And then the third piece I will wrap separately because it does have a lot of embroidery on it. And so lastly is this ASOS, like I mentioned, embroidered jumpsuit. This is actually also new with tags. It's a size six, really pretty. It has a choker neckline, and then it's one shoulder, long or one sleeve, or only has one sleeve, and then embroidery throughout the jumpsuit. So, I mean, this would be so pretty for like a wedding or just any like springtime event. You could wear this to a baby shower or a gender reveal uh, or, you know, to your own gender reveal. If you are team girl, <laughs> this would be so cute. And I usually do include those type of events as keywords in my listing when I'm listing stuff like this because people do search out stuff to wear by occasion. I know I recently did. I had to attend a wedding and I was browsing Poshmark and I was searching just like wedding guest dress. I didn't end up buying my dress from Poshmark but I did see some cute options and uh, you know only the people who added wedding guest dress as keywords in their description only those listings were showing up with what I was searching so it is important to think about stuff like that think about what your buyer your potential buyers are possibly searching for and try to appeal to that. So when the three of these were added together, the bundle price came out to $97 and I was offered 80, which I did accept. My earnings were 64. For all three pieces, I paid $6 and 75 cents. And so my net profit was $57 and 25 cents. Okay, our last sale, which just sold, is this bundle of two Urban Outfitters dresses. I didn't realize it when I was listing the second one, but I already had a dress. So these are both called the Hannah Baby Doll Scalloped Trim Dress from Urban Outfitters. And I didn't realize that I already had the same style listed. This one has a floral embroidery to it. I actually purchased this one from a friend. I paid about $12. For each item from that clothing lot and then this one I recently found at the outlet store for two dollars and 25 cents this one has like a little cheetah print this was just in a haul and so yeah someone bundled both of them I I've had 
this embroidered one for, um, I would say around six months now, four to six months. And so yeah, uh, when the two of them were added together, the bundle price came out to 65 and I was offered 50, which I went ahead and accepted. That made my earnings 40 and my net profit around $26. But the embroidered dress, I, you know, did not have to shop for. I just, you know, paid, paid for it and took photos and listed it. So uh, that does cut down on my time and energy that was expended for this bundle or for that dress. Okay, so that is absolutely everything that I had to ship out today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.